Thank you for using Nanotrasm's computer learning database. I'm your instructor, Professor Computer. Today we are going to learn about the fast pace and space age technology of the pneumatic transportation system, or as it's commonly known as, disposals. For this task you will need the following items. A wrench. A welding tool. And most importantly, a rapid pipe dispenser or RPD for short. In the event your station's budget cannot afford the RPD, please use the bulkier and outdated pipe dispenser located in your atmospherics department. Now then. In order to fully understand the complicated system of disposals, you'll need a basic understanding of static and dynamic systems, as well as, ha ha ha, I'm just kidding. We at Nanotrazen would never subject your tiny organic mind to the rigors of mathematics. Anywho, we will first look at the various pipes we have at our disposal. Let's take a look. The pipe is a straight tube and mostly uninteresting, just like you. The bent pipe is similar to the pipe, except it bends at a 90 degree angle. No trigonometry needed. The junction pipe is a bit more complicated. Please take note of the arrow on the pipe. This indicates the direction the disposals will flow. The Y junction pipe is nearly identical to the normal junction pipe, except the arrow is pointed towards the middle section. The sort junction splits a single pipe system into two. The trunk makes up the very beginning and end of a disposal system. A trunk must be installed before adding a chute, outlet, or bin. The bin is something you should already be familiar with. It is the trash can of the future and a notorious hiding spot for assistants and clowns. The outlet is the very end point of your disposal system. It will violently expel anything that comes through it. The chute is like the bin, except there is no need to climb inside. Simply toss in whatever you want to transport but be careful. If you walk into it, you will find yourself in a river of garbage as you flow through the disposal system. Now let's get down to installation. Remember to remove any floor tiles before you work. Humans are clumsy and may scuff our expensive metal piping so be sure to cover up your work when you are done as well. Moving on. If you are using the RPD, check under category and select disposals. Once that is selected, look down at the bottom for a robust selection of pipes. Once you have the proper pipe select, let's look to the top. Here we can select the direction we want our pipe to be. Before we continue, check to see if the wrench option is selected. This will allow the RPD to automatically wrench any pipe into place that you lay down. We at Nanotrazen know how such conveniences add precious seconds to your short and fleeting human lives. With your pipe selected and RPD in hand, simply click on the spot you wish to lay down the pipe and whoa, it's done. If you are using the bulkier pipe dispenser, you will need to drag the pipe into place first. Your weak human arms cannot carry such high quality piping. Once it's in position, you must wrench it in place. Whoa there, tiger, you're not done yet. Next you will need to use a welding tool. Before you start, do you have eye protection? Using a welding tool without proper protection may result in blindness and possibly death. Don't be a great eyed gari. Wear your eye protection. Now then, use the welding tool on the pipe to finish securing it and bam. You're done. Remember, if you want to install a bin, chute, or outlet, you must first build and secure a trunk. Once that is finished, you can build a bin, chute, or outlet on top and secure it in the same manner as before. Beautiful. Remember, the disposal system is much like your primitive human one-way digestive system. Garbage and dead clowns flow through in a single direction like a river, so ensure the flow of your new disposal system aligns with the original or you could be vomiting trash into the head of personnel's office. One last thing. Disposals are not a toy. They are to be used to transport cargo, garbage, dead assistants and other assorted detritus. Abuse of this system could result in dead, but don't just take my word for it. Okay, okay, I'll fucking read it. Ah, uh, god damn it. Hi, I am Randolph P. Checkers Esquire, Quartermaster Grade 4. I am here on behalf of our mutual, beneficent employer Nanotracen. To inform you that playing in disposals isn't cool. It's not cool. It is, in fact, very dangerous. Disposals are not a toy. 
Disposals will cause you harm. Disposals are where garbage goes. And occasionally assistance because they are garbage. Oh, okay, I'll stick to the script, Jesus. I'm telling you this today as part of a NT-mandated public service announcement. Also because I'm court-ordered to after having accidentally destroyed something with fire once or twice. Not my fault, but no. No, they don't believe you if you don't have a lawyer. Which I am. And they didn't believe that either. Oh well. Eh, it's stay out of disposals or whatever. I'm out of here. Thank you for using Nanotrazen's educational database. In the event you lack the funds to purchase this course, we are now accepting indentured servitude as payment. Isn't that great? Stay safe out there, spaceman.